All right. Let me first describe the permission on the local folder. When you when I say ls minus l, it shows us who created the file. Who created the file? Okay. And who are these users? All right. Now, this section is the permission of the file. Okay. This section is the permission of the file. And this is the username. This is the username. Uh, I mean, the user who created the, who created the file, the owner. We call it owner. Okay. We call it owner. And this guy is called as group. Okay. This is the name of the file. This is the name of the file. This is the size. This is size. Okay. This is our the size. And this is the name of the group. Sounds interesting. All right. And this is the time at which the file was modified. So every file has these. The, uh, right now, I'm talking about classic Unix file system. And as a matter of fact, all the file system, whether Windows or everybody, has a similar kind of model. Where the, you have a file name. And then you have owner. And then you have group. And you have others. All right. So this is the permission, which is very important. This is permissions. And there are these attributes associated with file. Every file says that my owner is my owner is my owner is this guy. My group is this guy and my permissions are these. These are the attributes. Now, what does these permissions mean? These permissions, as you see them here. OK, let me let me try to paste it. All right, let me try to paste it. So these permissions are basically made up of three parts. Okay. Okay. So dash means not allowed. Okay. While, okay. Here, what does it say? It has three parts. First part. So here it is a kind of either directory or file or link, etc. So the first first uh, first character means this. Okay, dash means it is a file. Okay, dash means it's a file. If it's a directory, it says D. If it's a link, it'll say, it says L. So the first one is the representative of what kind of file are we talking to? Okay, what kind of file are we talking to? Second part of the permission is owner, group, and others. Okay, owner, uh, o owner, this guy is the owner, this guy is the group, and this guy the other. So what does it mean? It means it means that group and others. Okay. It means that owner can do these things R W X. Group can only do R and X. Others can do R and X. What does it mean? Means owner can read the file. Who is owner? Sandeep Giri 9034. All the people whose, um, I mean, there will be only one user ID. The user ID Sandeep Giri is allowed to read, write, and execute this file. 
that's what it means it means it means rwx it means the owner of this file called sandeep giri 9034 is allowed to read write and execute what does it mean by writing it means he's allowed to delete this file edit this file and and read this file okay as well as he's allowed to run this program had it been it, it's an executable file okay it's an executable file therefore user can execute it although although while running it might say uh, we could not find a way to execute this program this doesn't look like a program that's another issue but permissioning is allowing the user to execute the file okay now group meaning the people who are part of this group people who are part of this group can execute read and the file but the group members are not allowed to modify this file okay similarly other people other people who are neither having this user id nor are the members of this group okay they are they are only allowed to read and write this file Make sense to you? If let's say I decided that I create a folder for this 6th February batch, all I will do is I will create a Unix group for all of you and then add all of your you into that group. Next thing I will do is create a directory on which I change the group of this file to that group which I have created so that all of you will be able to access the file but others won't be okay so that is the magic that's the magic of these permissions okay now how do you change the owner change the group and change the permissions you use the commands for changing the owner you use change owner to change the group you use ch group command and to change the permissions you use ch mode okay so these are the basics of you should go through ch own ch group and ch mode that will be simple for you okay so the, the, the these are the basics of unix permissioning and interestingly same permissions are also same definition of permissioning is also applicable to HDFS. Just that, just that you will have to create the user in HDFS with the same name, same login as the current user, current local user. All right. So if I if I right now, you know, let's say this there is this directory I'm standing in, and what I do is I allow you okay i say 6 fab for example what was 6 fab having it is having just some data this is my data i check the file what is there inside this data it says it's uh everybody can read it are you able to read it from my folder are you able to say cd slash home slash this folder are you able to do and if you want to see what is there inside a file you can use a command called nano and you can edit the file okay using nano command you can open the editor although there are many editors including vi but nano seems to be the most user friendly therefore i'm talking about nano now let's say let's say i decide to decide to change it i decide that others can also modify this file others can also modify this file okay so what i do is ch mode and i say o o means others plus w meaning others can edit this file called 6fab now one of you can try to edit this file called 6fab Sometimes you may want to have different permissions. Let's say uh, I, I want to change the group of this file to all the peoples who are part of Hadoop groups, okay, or KBD groups. 
okay i say that only the people only the people from kvd group can edit this file so what i do is change group to kvd for the file called 6fab okay now you see that you see what is the group of 6fab it's kvd and i could say that ch ch mode ch mode others can't write while group can write okay group can write okay now you can see that uh, other than the people who are part of kbd meaning users who are not the member of kbd group because our system is being utilized by other people as well so only our students will be allowed to access this file or change this file at this moment while others will be able to only read this file all right so this was a brief introduction 